Today we're going to show you how to perfectly cook a soft boiled egg all the way to a hard boiled egg with two methods. The first method is the stovetop method and we've showed you all the way from 6 to 12 minutes. The other way is the instant pot method and you can see our soft boiled egg, medium boiled egg, and hard boiled egg. We know you'll find the egg that is perfect for you. The first method we're going to show you is the stovetop method for perfectly cooked soft boiled eggs all the way to hard boiled eggs anywhere from 6 to 12 minutes so you can find your perfect egg. First we're going to show you the stovetop method. Go ahead and get your pot and fill it all the way up enough to cover the top of your eggs by about an inch. Wait for them to boil and turn it down to a simmer while you add the eggs in. Go ahead and add them in with a spoon, a big spoon that you would use to stir something with, and use it one at a time. Make sure not to put them in too hard because you don't want them to crack. Once all of your eggs are in, you can go ahead and put it back to a nice boil. Once that's done, you're going to put your eggs into an ice bath. The reason you're going to do this is it stops the cooking. You're going to go ahead and take them out with the spoon as well because it's very hot. Go ahead and let them sit in the ice bath for one to three minutes and then you can get cracking. If you don't have an ice bath, you can always rinse them in continuous cold water for a few minutes. Sometimes I do this when I'm feeling lazy. I definitely recommend the ice if you have time. It also helps with the peeling of the eggs. Once they've cooled off, you're going to go ahead and put them back into your pot. I love this little trick. You're going to go ahead and take the pot and shake it back and forth. This actually helps remove the shell of the egg, so the egg peels that much faster. Look at how easy this is, and I love to share this little trick with you. Continue to peel off all of the shells of the eggs and go ahead and rinse them so you, they're perfectly clean. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut my eggs in half. We've cut these in half so that you can see all of the different eggs we have. We've cooked eggs from 6 minutes to 7 minutes to 8 minutes. That's the six minute egg right there, the seven minute, eight minute, nine minute, 10 minute, 11 minute, and 12 minute egg. So you can get the exact egg that you're looking for. It's that easy. You can find this information in great detail on our website at healthyfoodiegirl.com. You're gonna select the manual method and cook on high pressure. Three minutes for soft boil, four minutes for medium, and five minutes for hard boil. Now I'm going to show you the Instapot method. This is definitely my favorite and the eggshells come off so easily. You're going to go ahead and want to put an egg rack or the trivet that came with your Instapot inside because you don't want to put the eggs touching the Instapot. Go ahead and put in one cup of water inside the Instapot and then you're going to put your eggs in so they're not touching. You don't want to have them stack. You definitely want to have them separated and definitely don't double stack them. We're doing six eggs today so I've went ahead and put the eggs in. Shut and lock the lid and close the pressure release valve. Select manual and cook on high. Anywhere from three to five minutes, depending on the kind of egg you want, and we're gonna show you in a little bit. When this is done, you're going to let it natural release for three minutes. After that is done, you're going to open up the vent and get the rest of the pressure out of there, and then immediately take your eggs and put them into an ice bath so they don't continue to cook. Go ahead and use a spoon because they're going to be very hot. Let them sit in the ice bath for anywhere from two to three minutes to let them cool and stop cooking. This is what they're going to look like and they're going to be so easy to peel. Look how easy this is. I love this method so much and it definitely makes peeling the eggs that much faster. I'm going ahead and cutting them in half and showing you the different eggs that we have. We have a three minute cooked egg for a soft boil, a four minute medium egg, and five minutes for a perfectly cooked hard boiled egg. It's just a matter of which egg you'd like to enjoy. 
If you end up making hard-boiled eggs, you can use some of them to make our deviled eggs. These are truly so delicious and we hope that you try them with some of your hard-boiled eggs. Or you can also try poaching an egg. That is another great method of how to cook an egg. We have a video explaining that. We make it the easiest way to poach an egg and we've enjoyed it here with some avocado toast. Both are great options. You can find the videos on our channel and make sure to visit our website, healthyfoodiegirl.com.